All right. Hello again, everybody. Andy Parker, UFO, Force It. Very great album, CD. Uh, one of the things I'm going to talk about here today is um, the song Let It Roll and uh, the differences and the nuances between the studio version and the Strangers in the Night version. Um, one of the things that was really great about the band UFO um, back during this era is the fact that um, I, they, were, they were a pretty well cast um, group and uh, they all complemented each other in the fact that where one had a weakness in a song or I, I shouldn't say weakness but um, another, another band member built upon the structure of what that musician was doing. And um, one of the really cool things about Andy Parker, um, people say he's underrated, but I say he plays understated. Uh, meaning that um, sometimes the best drumming is simplistic drumming. And that's what Andy Parker always did, and, and, and a lot of drumming greats did that. They never really sat down in the studio and tried to really overplay anything. So one of the really cool things about this song, Let It Roll, um, in the studio version, is Andy Parker basically played a single bass and um, um, four, four uh, in a measure of four, 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 he just kept it really simple on the hi-hat. So it was basically, uh, Shaker started out with the feedback on his flying V, and it's a one, two, three, four. Really cool, right? And um, you know, man, there's nothing better and more fun than playing UFO. And um, but anyway, be that as it may, uh, so the studio version, basically very simple, and with the bass drum. There we go. Two, three, four. And then with the high, uh, the high hat, the bass drum, and the snare drum. Two, three, four. So, pretty simplistic. It's it's not really four on the floor, um, but he's kind of got that shuffle beat in there on the bass drum, like uh, Doctor Doctor. Except with Doctor Doctor, he's doing the same on the hi hat and the snare. I believe it's kind of all working together. Um, so, studio version on basically the the basic drum pattern for the rhythm. And uh, but in the in the live he kind of he takes it to that next level and that was what was really cool about UFO and the Strangers in the Night album was the fact that Andy Parker kind of took that drumming up to the next level and did some things on some songs in the live Strangers in the Night that he didn't do in the studio and that made that album such a really hard I, th I think one of the best hard rock live albums. Um, ever made. So, be that as it may, so in the live version of it, of course, Shanker once again on the V and the Marshall stack with the feedback. Two, three, four. that song up tremendously and if you're in the audience listening to those double basses I mean, back when I saw UFO um, man you could really feel those basses pumping and uh, it was a lot of fun very exciting and like I said um, not at a musician level but as a spectator level and a UFO fan it kind of took that song up to the next level and of course but at a, as a musician level as a young drummer it was very exciting because it introduced a new dynamic to the song which made it a little bit more intense. So anyway, so another part in the song Let It Roll was where Shanker, Shanker had a really cool writing style and with the band how they built a song and it was typically um, the Shanker would do this intro riff and then the band would come together um, through that riff uh, to introduce the verse and they, so they do an intro riff do the verse, do the intro riff again after the verse, and then go into another verse, and then do like a bridge um, to build into 
you know, the next part of the song, be it the lead or um, another dynamic of the song. So one of the cool things about Let It Roll was uh, one of the riffs in the song, Shanker's So <clears throat> Andy Parker, underrated, overstated, perfect drummer, perfect part, not overplayed. In the studio, what he's doing, two. Time, uh, slow, kind of mild, gentle part where Shanker gets into some really cool leads. Um, but anyway, so that's the studio version of that part. Now, going into the Strangers of the Night version of it, what he does is, he, like in the, the structure of the song, he adds the double bass to the, to the part. So instead of this, you get this. Once again, it adds, as a spectator and a UFO fan, it kind of ups, ups that song to the next level. And as a musician, it, it's fun to play. So, once again, I'm going to close this video out. I don't want to make my videos more than 10 minutes long. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Andy Parker, uh, once again, one of my favorite drummers growing up as a young drummer. Um, to me, as a musician, as a drummer, it's not always about going out and just studying and being technical and um, it's about playing understated and uh, yeah there's times you can go out and blister and have fun and just really let it out and that's a good way to explore and become a better musician but um, less is more so keep it simple um, and remember to always work as a complement in a band within the construct of a band to um, work together as a unit and try to pick up off of each other's weaknesses and strengths. That's what a band is all about. So with that, I'm signing off and uh, keep an eye out for further videos. This is awfully fun and I enjoy it and I enjoy talking about the drumming of Andy Parker from UFO. So until next time, I'll see you later.